Hello everyone, welcome to today's message. Today's message is for October 27th, 2022. And it's for everyone, for the whole collective. I hope you will enjoy it, my dear viewers. This is um, all for you and it will touch your heart somehow because that's the intention I've put in it. Let's have a look at the two major impacts in your life happening for today, Thursday, October 27th, 2022. And the first impact is... The three of swords, not a good one, but sometimes in life, bad things happen. The three of swords is about some truth that will come to light. It could be very painful. It could be very, um, there might be deception. There could be a third party involved. There could be something which is, um, that might, it's a deal breaker. Sometimes this can cause separations. Sometimes this causes uh, a lot of hurt, uh, but ultimately um, it does do damage in relationships so three of swords not a very good card but sometimes things are inevitable okay so the second one is the page of pentacles which is really good you will have support from someone wonderful that will stand by you support you um at this point in time this person is someone perhaps might have earth energy within them virgo taurus capricorn but it is someone very supportive in every way Now let's have a look and see what else the universe wants to, what messages are we going to get from the sacred forest. For everyone, October 27th. Happy birthdays to those of you celebrating today. Many, many happy returns. Now we have here the, the great, oh, it's a beautiful card. This is a card of grace. This shows that you will be protected. You will be nurtured. And there's going to be a lot of support from your guiding angels. As you can see, um, the wise woman of the grove. This is all about your guiding angels, your spirit guides watching over you, giving you everything you need at this point in time in your life, especially now that you're hurt and there is painful things coming to light that are very painful. I also feel like um, your spirit guides are going to help you and support you through this transition through this challenging time and there is going to be a lot of success coming your way so um, know that you are cared for and nurtured and favored at this point in time especially more than any time um, by your guardian angels so that's really important now let's have a look what else the universe wants to tell us for today or some things might be starting from today and onwards. And like I was saying, happy birthdays to all of you. Happy anniversaries, those of you um, celebrating occasions. I wish you a great, wonderful day today. Um, we have the Hermit. So yes, of course, uh, when, when things come to light that are painful, there will be a lot of soul searching. You will be taking time out and really thinking deep, looking for truth, looking for the answers within. And you will find that slowly in time. All the truth will come to light to you and you will um, move on from this. Let's have a look what the universe is saying. Yes, you are destined for a better life. As you can see with the world card, it shows a new cycle of life is destined for you. That's why perhaps this is happening. The, the world card is heaven and earth. It's one of the best cards. It's the main number one card from all the deck. It shows a time where you will be granted everything you've always wanted. A lot of your wishes are going to come true. Um, a lot of victories are destined for you every area of your life is going to be touched your money is going to be skyrocketing you'll be elevated play the lot or play the lottery when i see the lot of uh, this card i mean sorry i see this as a lot of lottery card as a windfall as a change of life as you um you are flung into the heavens of absolute nirvana happiness this world becomes everything for you from love to um emotional fulfillment to happiness to abundance everything comes um, in the card of the world because it's the greatest card of the whole deck so so much is happening do play the lotto lottery and for those of you who want to know there are lucky lotto numbers uh, in the community section of this channel for everyone according to their star sign so you can watch those and play very small and play consistently without stopping the magician an amazing card of power like by magic, like magic, everything will start falling into your place. Things will start going so smooth. You will have the, literally have the power of the magician to do everything you want. And you'll see metaphorically, not literally, that like magic, things are going to be pouring abundance and a lot of um, great things are going to be pouring into your lap. So um, whatever you were not able to do before, now you can. So go ahead and don't stop. Take action because you will be able to you know, go through every transaction, everything smoothly. 
Now we have the three of pentacles. Some of you are working in a team, um, families or working in a, together um, as in businesses. You will do well. There's a lot of profits. Three of pentacles is a great card about profits that are coming in, um, especially for work well done, achievements of a lot of hard work. Now they'll be pouring in. So money is coming to you. There's a lot of happiness and a lot of profits coming to families and to businesses. So a wonderful card. I will clarify that card a little bit more to see what else does it mean, if it has any more significance. Um, the, the Eight of uh, Wands is a beautiful card. It shows that, you, I said that, take action. It's like my gut feeling was saying that before the card. You need to take action. You need to take action now, especially with the world and the magician in your reading. It shows this is the time for you to take action, and you will do exceptionally well. Some news are going to come your way some information is coming to you this is when you uh, you can take action because and make a decision make a choice because you will do well first you will resolve a problem that you already have and also you will take uh, advantage of an opportunity this is happening at a time where there's some bad things happening here and um, the universe is going to give you an amazing opportunity and you'll be at the crossroads so do take action and do take uh, make a quick decision Okay, again, the card of action, the Knight of Wands. It shows that you need to take action now. This is the time. Don't let anything stop you. Don't be concerned as to will I be okay? Will everything be all right? The old guardian angel, you have the, the grace card there. You've got the universe telling you both of these cards together are talking about you can take action now because it is only now, very quickly, you will take advantage of a situation, an amazing opportunity, and you will resolve a problem. Two birds with one stone, so do go ahead. It's an old cliche where they say two stones with one, uh, two two birds with one stone. <laughs> stone. Okay, so yes, uh, many of you are leaving. There's a transition. You're leaving to a better life. There's too much trouble, especially after the three of swords. Six of swords shows that you're leaving. Um, there's too many issues. There's there's a lot of things that you need to um, really move away from, and you're moving towards the light and and taking action by moving. Some of you could be traveling to a place where you are you are needed to go there, or somebody needs you to go there. Also, some of you could be traveling because because there might be somebody ill or somebody not well that you need to visit at the same time. Now we have the seven of wands. Many of you are defending what you believe in, defending your status, your position, could be your job, your work, um, your position in your business, or fighting for what is right or defending the problems that you have in this. This could be a separation, marriage, relationships ending because of this third party situation or even deception or even painful words or truth. So you are taking a stand and, and you know, taking the high road and you're not, uh, you are relentless uh, to win. And the victory is going to be yours without a doubt. Now we're going to clarify the Three of Pentacles. Let's see what that is for the whole collective for October 27. What's happening with the Three of, of Pentacles? Absolutely beautiful. How amazing. As you can see, the magician doubles up here. When it comes to the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, now, now I understand, you are going to be empowered in two areas of your life. Some of you, it's going to be in your business. You will do amazingly well. Something incredible is expanding your business and bringing abundance and abundance. Some new idea that's going to start. You are going to be united. You're putting your hands together with somebody and doing spectacular that's number one. And the second one, families are going to be prospering. They're going to be doing exceptionally well. Something wonderful. The empowerment of the magician to double up in your reading is just magnificent. And with it comes the four of, you can put that on top now. They've seen that. The four of, um, the four of wands with the magician shows this empowerment, this power of the magician that is being given to you twice, which intensifies it, it is going to be explosive. It is going to give you the dream life you've always wanted. The four of wands is about having and establishing every wish, every dream that you have, what you wanted, what you've been wanting, your plans, your ideas, your thoughts, your wishes all coming to fruition and you're having an amazing um, life, this dream life coming. As you can see in the illustration, people, their hands in the air, celebrating a lot of victories, uh, buying your home, having your dream home, seeing your home, um, making, you know, doing a lot with your house, paying it off or doing a lot for your home and your life just um, happiness and contentment and a lot of wishes and a lot of victories coming your way. The empowerment of the magician is going to overwhelm you. Prepare yourself. So um, in your business, you will be expanding and doing so much well and so much money is coming in that is going to help you tremendously to rise beyond where you are now. 
Now we are going to um, clarify the Six of Swords. Let's see what the Six of Swords is all about as you are leaving. And let's see what is it that you will encounter in your journey ahead. It shows that there, okay, so it does show that there is, uh, you are leaving and, you know, le leaving feeling defeated, feeling as though you can't do anymore. Um, it is going to, one thing it's going to do, by you leaving, you're stopping all the trouble, all the disagreements, all the arguments and the battles, you're away from all that, and that makes you feel great. The second thing is that there is a proposal or a proposition. Where you are going, there will be love. There could be someone wonderful. There could be somebody proposing to you, someone wonderful that wants to date you and get to know you and spend quality time with you. You're meeting someone wonderful and you and your emotional life is ex it's becoming spectacular. Another thing is there could be a proposition while you are in the midst, uh, uh, while you're in the process of going and leaving trouble behind you, there could be a proposition, something wonderful that is going to give you a lot of hope and a lot of happiness. Somebody might propose something to you. And let's see, with the magician's power, it shows to me that whatever it's proposed to you, it is going to bring you abundance also. So that's what the leaving is. It's putting into an end to a situation that you have been um, struggling with. Now let's see what's been in your heart. What is the universe wants to tell you? What is one answer that is going to touch everybody's heart for the um, October 27th for the whole collective? One answer from your guardian angels. It says um, compromise. So yes, you do need to compromise. Uh, I guess it is connected to the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is about you taking a stand. Maybe maybe it is to do with compromising. Maybe a little bit of compromise is needed where, I'm, where you're at. Let's have a look at more cards with the, um, the animal spirit. Perhaps they will show us a little bit more as to what else will happen with this compromise. Let's begin and see two cards. From the spirit animal wow you will be shining like the peacock how beautiful is that this is um very important the peacock is about it's about by compromising you are still winning you are still triumphing you're still having your victory it doesn't mean that by compromising um that you are losing this there is a win for you here there is success for you here there is healing for you here there is completion of a major a chapter of your life you are absolutely completing it and there's a lot of rewards shining is that means um let yourself shine let yourself um stand take care of yourself you will be shining you will be getting all the rewards all the recognition that you truly deserve so if you are taking a stand in regard to your work or to something you believe in you are going to to really have your victory without a doubt the second card being the lizard spirit. This is all about your dreams and your manifestations and your wishes coming to um, to reality. And that's what the magician is all about. The magician is about having all your wishes and your dreams being established. And so is the four of wands. The four of wands, having your wishes, dreams come to light. Uh, you are going to be manifesting and seeing your manifestations and your dreams and wishes come to life. And there is going to be abundance of joy and um, gratitude for so many blessings coming your way. Now let's have a look at the angelic cards and see what they have to tell you. Two cards let's see okay so it shows honeymoon and trust so it does show that many of you will be enjoying time out with a lover perhaps some of you are planning your honeymoon planning to get married planning um, where to go some of you are planning holidays uh, happy holidays uh, some of you are wanting to take time out with a loved one and go on short trips romantic trips I do feel like trust is going to be very important you need to really have faith and especially now the universe is calling you to have faith to have trust because something wonderful is coming in your life and you are going to be empowered like i said i'll repeat it again and again with the magician because you can't imagine the power of the magician twice in your reading how um, important it is to know that the magician now the power of it will govern a lot of things in your life so do have trust because what's coming in your life is something that you can trust if there is someone wonderful coming into your life especially because we have this um if you could just hold this up with the trust um the 
Knight of Cups being a proposal of someone wonderful, there could be a very wonderful proposal from someone incredible and you need to have faith that this person really wants the best for you and they want to spend the rest of their life with you. So having trust is very important. Maybe that's why the honeymoon card is here also. But the, um, the Knight of Cups shows a beautiful proposal. Somebody wants to get to know you and the universe is saying, you know, do go ahead with that and give it a go because, you know, uh, it is calling you to have faith and trust. Let's have a look at the Chinese cookies, two messages from them and see what they tell us for the whole collective for Thursday, October 27, 2022. Okay, so we've got one more and we got the second one. Okay, this is the second one. This one just dropped. We'll just take these two. Okay. Now. My dear viewers, in regard to uh, the Chinese cookie, the first message, it says, reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease on life. Remember I said to you, with the peacock spirit, you are going to shine. You are going to rise like the phoenix. You are going to have your glory and you are going to be really um, starting a new life that is going to be spectacular. All the changes that are happening and everything negative that's happening is happening to get you to that level. That's important for you to know. A new lease on life that's going to give you abundance. The second card is all about um, society and it's all about you saying yes to wonderful invitations that are coming your way. Why? Because in the process of being invited and you accepting, ex there is a chance for excellent networking, opportunities and you love. Remember we said this the king uh, the knight of cups there is a proposal there is a new person entering your life someone that you need to trust and get to know so it says don't say no say yes to invitations because there's going to be a lot of opportunities love um love interests for singles and networking and um, opportunities for everybody else everyone is going to uh, reap something or, or have something you know wonderful happen to them by these invitations so do say yes because a lot of abundance is coming your way and that with that message i wish you all the best abundance and abundance of blessings to all of you namaste